hello everyone and welcome back to my channel if this is your first time here please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button it's been a very long time since i've been here and today i was going to make um this product for myself and client and i just felt like i needed to show you guys how to do this because this is um very important because of the the weather we have currently in nigeria we are experiencing the hammer time which is kind of like winter for people in the u.s and so we want to make sure that our skin is staying hydrated and moisturized and all of that good thing okay and so this product is for someone who's light skin who just needs something to moisturize their skin during the daytime if you're someone who's um dark and you're looking to just brighten a little it is a brightening body butter but it's not going to lighten you it's just a brightening body butter more like a maintenance cream for someone who wants to maintain their complexion or for someone who you know is confused about what to use during the daytime and if you're not a fan of oils you're probably going to um, be a fan of this butter and so first things first i'm going to put on my gloves last week i had a chemical burn on this hand as you can see it's gradually healing up um, but it's very important that you are um, putting on gloves just not because of hot things but because of chemicals that might you know gradually creep into your skin and so that's why i'm going to be using this i might take it off as we go because this can be a little uncomfortable for me um but when i'm dealing with the hot stuff i'm definitely going to use it and so this is an emulsified body butter this body butter is not going to melt under um heat of course you don't want to put your product in extremely hot areas but this body butter is not going to melt um at room temperature of any sort okay so as we go i'm going to be sharing the recipe as we go on this side of my screen you see my recipe book if you've attended my classes you know we've talked about this um how to come up with your recipe and this is very important should be on the left hand side of your formulation table and so you want to make sure that you're looking at what you're doing because this is going to be like a guide for you to know what you're doing okay and on the side you see a b c it tells me what phases this is this product is in three phases phase a b and c which is the water the oil and the cool down phase okay and as we go i will explain more okay so ugh, this hand okay i feel like i'm gonna take these gloves off because it is a lot and so maybe i'll just take the other mini one um put on this one instead because oh uh, yeah so it was my birthday on monday and i think in this video i'm gonna insert some clips i said i was going to make a vlog but honestly my day went by so fast i couldn't make a vlog and so I pictures and videos and clips in this okay so everything here has been sanitized and cleaned before starting this production but let me just so this is rubbing alcohol i just use it to spray my things so why this is an emulsified um scrubs because um butter sorry is because we are using waxes i have e-wax and um settle alcohol in my petri dish here and that is why it's going to stay you know solid at room temperature and i've also carefully selected my butters if you look over here you're going to see some butters this is shea butter this is mango and avocado butter now if you look at your butters closely there are two types of like they're hard and soft butters right and there's some butters are in between if you look at mango butter it's really really hard and so mango butter can actually stay solid quite um at a very hot temperature whereas avocado and shea butter i don't need to tell you more they melt as soon as they come in contact with heat and so I've carefully selected my butters although mango butter is very expensive but i've also added it because it's going to have that hardened effect to my product as well and so i'm going to be using mango avocado and shea butter and this is my waxes this is my e-wax and sesso alcohol i'm using my butter um my mango butter at six percent i'm using my shea butter at 30 percent my avocado at eight percent okay and as you can see they go to the a phase which is the oil phase and so this is my oil phase everything is going to go in here
this tutorial is going to be very detailed and so if you feel like you're someone who doesn't have the patience you can probably skip through but i'm going to be explaining myself as i go because these videos i send to some of my students as well so i like to be very detailed in my videos these are called petri dishes i'm going to go ahead and put my mango and shea butter um avocado butter um some avocado butters might be bluish green um that's okay that is still avocado butter today i'm going to be using my um, carrot seed oil as my carrier oil i'm using carrot seed oil at 10 percent now remember that your butters are called occlusives um they have that moisturizing effect and your oil is your emollient and so this is my oil phase okay i'm also going to be using some active ingredients in this production and so as we go you're going to understand better okay on this side i have my beer berry powder and white like rice i also have my koji dip Koji dip is oil soluble. This is oil um, water soluble. These ingredients are going to be actives in my product. Okay, they're going to be actives in my body water. Okay, so this is more like you're making a lotion, but in butter form. Okay, this is going to be very very moisturizing on the skin, and yeah, it's just a very beautiful blend. You're going to see. At the end as we go okay so this is going to get heated up to um about 45 50 degrees i want to make sure that my waxes are melted my butters are um, melted over here i have my distilled water you're using purely distilled water whenever you're formulating and i'm using um 17 to 20 percent of my total formulation for water okay so i'm doing this i'm going to go heat up my oil and my water and i'll be back and so my water my oil has been heated up i'm going to go ahead to dissolve my um kojic dip in it So I'm going to go ahead to heat this up just a little more. And so this is my water that's been heated up. I've lost about um, a couple of grams, but I'm just going to add that later. So I'm putting in my lycra rice and my beer berry powder because they are water soluble. And so I'm going to dissolve them here. Remember, you want to make sure that they are at the same temperature before you um, before it becomes an emulsion. So you want to make sure that they are both at similar or the same temperature. Okay. I'm going to go ahead to mix this up. So I'm going to put in my. dissolved water and beer berry first remember this is as you're making a lotion and so it's going to be emulsified this is still too hot so i'm going to make sure that it cools just a little more before i go ahead to add it it's 
it's so hard. It's that it has emulsified of course it is hot and so we're going to allow it to cool off before we eat again okay So far, this is what our water is looking like. So like I said, I'm going to go keep it for it to cool and then show you the results. So I went ahead to add my remaining water. Remember I was going to add about 20 ml of water, 20% um, of water. And so I went ahead to add the remaining 3%. Better. after it has cooled down and um, so i'm going to go ahead to add my cool down ingredients just going to do this for so you can see it's solid so definitely not melting um at room temperature this is not going to melt I like it thick um, because it takes shape. Okay. I like that about this butter. If you want to soften it up, you can go ahead to add um, liquid. Remember, your regular body butter, you wouldn't need to add um, preservative, but because this is an emulsified butter, We've incorporated water, and so we are definitely going to need preservative. Now, the preservative I'm using today is Jamal Plus. Jamal Plus is usually used at the water phase of your formulation, um, or should be used at the water phase of your formulation. However, I skipped that because I completely was carried away. And so I will include it now. So for every... 100 gram of product you want to use 0 0.5 grams of jama plus preservative that is how you use jama plus so you should know when and quantity to use for your preservatives okay all right so this is my leftover carrot oil i'm just gonna add that here i'm going to be adding my oils um this is a mixture of egyptian milk and some of my concentrates i'm just adding them you know to kick or to boost the effic uh, <laughs> efficacy of this product so i added them at um i think about four percent like i said this butter is for Someone that's light skin can use this. Someone who wants to brighten can use this. If you don't know what product to use during the daytime, since you can't apply your body creams during the daytime, you can choose to use this body butter. Now, this is not the product that I sell to clients. This is just me formulating the product for a specific clients um, if you go to my instagram page i have different um body butters okay and so this i make for 
someone a request and we can formulate butters for you based on requests um request this is great for this hamatan period honestly this is the best thing that can happen to your skin rub your lightning creams at night apply this during the day your skin will thank you okay all right um i'm going to be adding rose essential oil remember essential oil should be used at 0 0.5 to 1 percent of the formulation you don't need too much um, so don't go ahead and pack essential oils in your products your skin will burn so this is 499 so one this is three grams i'm adding three grams so if you want to give this the color you can add coloring of some sort if you want to give your product some color you can go ahead to add coloring but i like to keep my butter looking as natural as possible i'm going to be using jamal plus preservative at one percent which is three grams as well I'm doing this because Jama Plus can distinguish itself from others and so if you don't have add preservative to this it's going to become moldy so remember to add preservative to this emulsified body butter if you want to increase your actives you can do that if you want to keep it same quantity that I used that's fine as well but remember this is um, the body butter so it might make little to no difference with your um, actives I don't like my products heavily scented and so I just will add a little drop of fragrance um, or flavoring to give it um, a nice fragrance so I have the coconut I have my i think banana that of that those are the two flavors i have my brand okay so this is um liquid gold pure tissue oil um this usually um this body butter usually will help with stretch marks and all of that um but we're going to you know boost it up or add this just to help more um this is the bond liquid gold pure tissue oil it's good for stretch marks scars wrinkles aging dehydrated skin and you can see it lists a lot of ingredients that it um contains i already have vitamin e oil in here as well um i just added my rose oil um and so you can all these oils have functions and so you want to look at the functions of these oils even if you're formulating your product um this product is going to be moisturizing as well as brightening and so that is why i chose carrot seed oil i'm going to be adding this to help with stretch marks i'm going to be adding this at four percent of my formulation which is 12 grams okay you can also use um rescue oil bio oil for this formulation those are also very good oils that you can use i'm using this in the cool down phase because if i were to add this during either maybe heat phase it's going to affect the like it's going to um disappear in the formulation and like the product is going to become very very like it will not be existent sorry and so things like this are sensitive to heat and so if you use them they will disappear all right and so as you can see it looks like um a lotion of some sort where you can see it's a body water you see yeah that's how it is okay and so this is going to be very moisturizing on the skin it is not going to sit on the skin it's going to penetrate into your skin keeping your skin really really moisturized and soft okay and so let me just go ahead to pack this one so you guys can see how i do that and so I'm just going to go ahead to put it into my container. I 
so voila this is your emulsified body butter like i said if you want to make this thicker you can increase your amount of wax um to make it thicker but i like this consistency and so because it's going to be in an open jar you want to make sure that you are putting in preservative because there's going to be a lot of contact with this product okay and so this is our emulsified body butter it is rich and it's definitely going to get the job done all right uh thank you guys for watching and i will see you in my next video bye